So right now we're at the Garment Factory. We're about to take a tour, so I'm gonna take you guys with us to see it. This is where we produce our clothing. You'll get to see behind the scenes, and if you're interested as a maybe future designer or you want to have your clothes produced here in Nigeria, this is the place I would recommend to get it done. I'm excited. Guys, come along. I have my assistant here. <laughs> so we're both about to go tour and check the place out. Okay, and sampling. Mm -hmm. So guys, starting out, this is where you will first come, right? Yes. To get that done. So before we get into more of that, I want you, Anna, to kind of tell me a little bit about your garment factory, what kind of led you to start it, um, and maybe what you're passionate about. Okay, thank you, Anna. Mm -hmm. um, what led me to this? I actually wanted to, when I was younger, I uh -huh. was worried that we have more of um, students everywhere in my environment. If you want to get a garment, the next thing you want to do is go to like, a strip store, you want quality. So then I was like, so why can't you make this clothing here? And during Christmas, my mom would buy me dresses and they're all very important. I was like, why can't we make this here? We have tailors shops all around and all that. So I was interested in learning how those garments were made. Like, because I could tell as I grew the difference because we we'll go to a tailor's place, get measured, mm -hmm. but then we'll just go pick it up the item and oh, try it on. So I wanted to understand how this garment was made. Wow, so these are one of our garments that he's working on. You guys, if you haven't already, this is our Ima dress, Ima's love. And so he's been working on it, beautiful. And you can see just how the design is. So neat. Thank you. What's your name? Aziz. 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 Nice to meet you, Aziz. you, Aziz. Nice to meet you. This is where more of like the sample and the sewing actually is done back here. Okay. And then what we're also going to show you is the pattern grading. So he's trying to place the patterns. Um, these are all the patterns for the particular design. So you place them and then you start creating them and increasing their size. That is increasing the size and decreasing the, the size. So when it's done, we we'll call out each sizes. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this is beautiful. So I know some of our viewers They'll be inter if you guys want to probably know how do I get started, right? So I'm a maybe up and coming designer or business person. I want to get into fashion and I want to get clothes produced with TGM. How what what is something that is important that they need to know when they're first starting with sampling? What kind of information would you need from them? Okay, so we need um visually just the, like I said, just the sketches, the okay. sketches of the design is what we need. And then I think that another thing that is important is that the designer understands the design, to understand what you want to do, because it's easier when you understand the design and you can easily, just like when we had the your dancer, yeah. and then you felt like you wanted something more fluid. Yeah. So guys, this originally started with organza, but yeah. we changed it, right? And this is something you helped us with. We yeah. kind of decide that, hey, yeah. we want this look, you know, and, and that's the beneficial. And a little bit about your background. You went to school and you've done a lot with fashion. Yeah. Okay, so I've been doing this for about over four years now. Four years. Officially, actually. Been way longer than that now. I started after second grade about 10, officially. Oh, oh my. In fact, I would say four years. Um, well, I said when I was in school, 
because my desire to learn, after like I said, how to do mass produce, how they make garments in iron number, as how they made the ready to wear garments, the premium garments. I then I, I loved you so much, you know, I watched your videos, I'm like, so I was like, wow, this thing this thing. So when I was learning by Taylor's show, I wasn't really learning anything mm-hmm. because I watched videos, I've seen how they are doing, I'm like, this is different. I want to learn how they are doing with patterns and all that. And that's how I got started. I got the opportunity to train. So we're trained by industry experts. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, we're trained by industry experts. We're like school in London, school of fashion. Wow. So that way, it's, we learn the movement of that we're making. So it was strictly a construction training. You know, that's how it was started. So when you come here, you're getting someone that's an expert, right? Yeah. That's been trained very well. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. And she'll give you good advice. Because that's the thing. Sometimes you may come up with a sketch. You may think you know what you're doing. It doesn't work, right? So someone in her team, they can kind of guide you and, and make even something as simple as organza. It makes a huge difference in changing. So another thing we have to also consider is one thing you were talking about is the luxury, right? Piece of it. Pretty nice, ready to wear, luxury fashion and clothing. It takes time. It's not something you rush, right? And I want people to kind of understand that because what they're doing is not fast fashion, right? If you really want nice quality pieces, right, that premium look, you want to give it time. So tell them a little bit about the timetable, even for them to be considering if they're wanting to invest in doing garment factory. Not that, that's not fast fashion, right? Yeah. Two ways is um, fast, you know, the quality is not as good as when it is slow. We say slow fashion, we do small ones. That's why we do small ones. Yeah. So we take what we can handle. So our timeline for something, when it is like five design, is about three weeks. When it is more than five design, four weeks, five weeks. And then our production timeline is about one month and two weeks, depending on the quantity of the, of the designs you're making. So we actually have a process that is a bit slow because of the things we do. For example, we sample, which is the first thing, we go through the design. That can take about a week. We talk about what you want to do, what why you want this year, why you want that year, the kind of fabric. So it's called uh, the product development process. Yeah. So when we are done with that, we start sampling. We make our first samples in toy, which we make it in toy version. So you get to see your design and decide, oh, I, I think this is perfect. I want to alter this. I want this year. I want that year. So you have to approve the toy. So a lot of time, toy can take about two weeks and max max three weeks depending on how and that's why i said earlier that you have to understand your design when you understand your design interpretation is easy you know you know some designers can be like okay make this to this exact number or i just want you to look above my knee you know it kind of stays short you have to be precise and have all that information together so it all take a longer time and after toy then you go to make it in fabric also when you see your design in fabric and that time to Look at it because sometimes um, toy comes in um, a stronger fabric. Your fabric can be um, softer. Like when we're making this garment, we, um, this part is stronger, but this part is lighter. So by the time it was sewn, this shrink. So we have to go back to the pattern and add to this part of the dress. Yeah. Just so if we just look at the toy, we wouldn't be able to see the difference. But we're making this sample. We realize that this part of the um because it's a lighter textured um fabric, so it was shrinking, so we have to like increase it to make it work with this kind of fabric. So that's another thing about fabric sampling, making your design in fabric. So and then after that we go to grading, which we are doing presently of this um, particular design. You could see the pieces, you know, it's in pieces. Yeah. You know, so that's what we are doing presently of this particular design. When we are done grading. Then we go into production for some very um, high-end production where they are doing large quantity. If because I, I I know if it's going to grow and we might maybe be having like one thousand pieces <laughs> and all that, <laughs> we still want to be able to accommodate that. So for brand, for luxury brands that does high number, they will also do um, size um, sampling just so they have all their um, designs and different 
you know, um, sizes before you go into the production for it. Yeah, which is important yeah. because you're doing a large number and it's long, so you need to maintain, you know, the value, you need to maintain yeah. the product. Because when you have and more people, quality. you know, we have more people demanding luxury now. Yeah. <laughs> so, people are tired. So, I, I, it's interesting you said that because that reminds me of the whole idea of MOQ, right? And yeah. the quantity. So you were talking a little bit about that. What the reason why we chose working with Anna is because as a small business, you may not have the ability and or want to, depending on what your company values, right? We value having our clothes made in Africa, putting clothing back into the hands of the originators, right? You didn't want to just send our clothes to China and have them made. In places like China, They'll do a thousand MOQ, but when you're a small business starting out, mm -hmm. can you really do a thousand? You can't. So, you know, I love that you start out with smaller MOQ. So can you talk to them a little bit about what your MOQ is? And um, for a small business, what would they expect? Uh, MOQ is 10 pieces. Um, that's you 10 hear pieces. that? 10 pieces. <laughs> 10 pieces for the time. And um, that's important because, like you said, we're in Africa and in the most black owned business are just starting out and we want to give an opportunity for them to be able to express themselves in a way you have eye quantity. You might not even be thinking about the creativity, it's just not to sell your designs like you know, I'm doing one thousand pieces, my goal is to sell. Yeah. <laughs> you're not just thinking about the creative okay, what are the people, what do they want? You know, you're so you're not and as a designer you need to be creative. You need to do what you think is expressing you, like right. you said, you want something that comes out of Africa. So you would want to do things that you're making somewhere else. You want to keep your originality. So to keep your originality, you might just want to start small and then just go to 1,000 things. Exactly. So we give you the opportunity to start small. And then we go, you know, we have designers and say, oh, 10 pieces now, you're doing 30, you're doing 50. Yeah. You know, so we give you the opportunity to grow and go together. And it's interesting you mentioned that because another reason why I wanted to work with Anna and at TGM was because their factory, it was important to her. Like she was saying earlier, even though she was trained, she could have decided to go abroad, but it, she was passionate about, no, I want it to be done in my country by my own people, right? To build back our economy. And that's what you told me we're also passionate about. You know, our clothing is produced in Africa for that very much reason. We want it to be in the hands of the originators. We don't want to be selling our culture to other pe people in Europe. Most of the time, our things are watered down, right? It's not the same. People don't understand the story behind it. And that's why we're here even today. We want you to understand and see the story of our brand and also understand the story of how clothing is made in Africa, you know, what we're doing. You know, even though it may be difficult, we have things we have to overcome, yeah, you know, writing, so many things, yeah. but we, we make it work. And again, if you're not in a hurry, if you're not trying to rush, you really want to take your time, you want quality, you don't want quality fabric, you know, that you can access here, only in Africa, this is where you should be working. So please consider that, thank you, thank you for taking the time to show us and I enjoy working with yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Anna, so much. Oh, it's been amazing. So we're going to come back again yes. on, and we're going to get to see the other side. So today, again, we're, we're seeing where samples are done. But this is not the only aspect of a garment making, right? There's yeah. production, which is actually what's going to be put out there. So when we come back, we'll be able to see more of the production and see what that looks like and take you guys along. <laughs>